Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We're back with another What's Sold. This is going to be four days of sales. I don't know what the total number is for the four days. I usually look that up afterwards, but whatever the thumbnail or whatever says is how you'll be able to see it. To give you an idea of how much I'm kind of selling per day on eBay. Now granted, those numbers are always uh, not ideal just to assume that's profit. Obviously, you have investment, you have fees, shipping. I do free shipping. All that stuff is coming out of there off the top. PayPal fees and all that stuff. So keep that in mind. A lot of times I give an idea of what I paid for stuff, but um, not all that's profit. So uh, it sounds a lot better than it is, but there's still some good sales there too. And I want you guys to kind of get an idea of kind of what I'm doing with my business part time here. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start off with a bang. We have Enter the Matrix PS2 for 10 bucks. Just kidding. Very minor, easy sale, but this game sells. There's another Matrix game on PS PS2 that I think sells for 18 shipped or something like that. I've sold them both. Um, just quick, easy, one picture. That's all I took. Sold, sold for 10 shipped. Goes in a bubble mailer and it's on its way. Next, uh, these are really cool. I got these The Source uh, magazines. They're like a hip-hop rap magazine. I've had probably, I think, six or seven of these maybe in total. Maybe a little bit more. A lot of them have sold anywhere from as low as 25 up to about 60 or 65 bucks. And I still have a few left. I actually paid 60 for all of them. Uh, this one here was from November 93 and it sold for 45 shipped. I found that rap, hip hop, whether it's CDs, cassettes, t-shirts, uh, magazines, stuff like that, some of that stuff is super collectible. So if you can find it, you can definitely make some money, but it's not easy to come by. Um, here's another set of magazines. These are from the Rock and Roll Buy. These are record collector magazines. They weren't even that old, but there were 12 of them. Um, I just, in this buy, I got a bunch of magazines. I started making piles of each different kind that I had. This was the first set to sell. Sold them for 55 shipped. Uh, magazines do not go media mail. They ended up going, I think, FedEx, and it cost us about 17 to ship them. Something like that. They were a little heavier, but still 17 even with free shipping. We still made some money on some magazines that otherwise would have just thrown in the recycle bin. So pretty good deal there. Another game here with this one is a good PS2 game to look out for. Tony Hawk's Underground 2 seems to have really kind of spiked up a little bit in price, maybe since the quarantine. I'm not sure, but got 30 shipped on this guy, and it sold overnight. So pretty good deal. This game, I... Thought it used to sell for not a whole lot, or at least not anywhere near 30 but $30 shipped. A lot of the Tony Hawk games have either sold for a high amount or moved really quickly for me lately, so I'm happy about that. Another game here, Conflict Desert Storm 2 for PS2. Not really a common, common game that you're going to see everywhere, but not worth a whole lot either. Got 12 bucks shipped. It did take a little bit to sell, but I'm happy with a $12 PS2 game. Um, again, just goes into bubble mail and it's on its way. Uh, these are some more Littlest Pet Shops. Those of you that have been following me and seen me sell, we sold that uh, Dotson for 55 We sold a bunch of different cats and dogs for 10 15 20 Here is a lot of dogs. These ones sold for uh, 39 ship for 17 of them. These are ones I looked up individually. They didn't seem to have a whole lot of value. There was nothing really crazy, so I just lotted them together. I think I listed them at 50 and took a best offer of 39 bucks. Here's an old listing. You can tell by the uh, the type of photo it is. So this one is the Statue of Liberty. Um, it's kind of just a generic, nothing really crazy, no special brand or anything like that. But this one sold for 18 shipped. Um, I think I paid a buck for it at a garage sale, so I'm happy with that. Happy to get rid of any kind of old listings. You can really look at my store and you can see the progression of my pictures. And some of them are really, really bad. And now they're just kind of average, but they still do the job. But some of these old ones just do not look that great. Um, here's a Little House on the Prairie. I've mentioned DVD sets for the past couple of buys. Here is one of the Little House on the Prairie ones. I spent 20 bucks on a bunch of DVDs. This particular one sold for 15 shipped, which for me is pretty good for a used DVD set. I'm happy with that. Again, just goes on a bubble mail or goes media mail. It costs three or four bucks to ship it, and it's on its way. Here's a CD close to the edge, the bonus tracks. This one was $11. This is a rock and roll buy as well, 11 bucks shipped on a CD, which is couple dollars more than I'm about eight bucks like I told you guys is about where I want to be with with selling something on eBay if it's going first class or media mail and this one uh, was a couple dollars over that and I think it sold probably in about a month so pretty good deal uh, an old game as well super pitfall for the NES this one's old for 11 shipped I had it up for a while you can tell by the listing or the picture um, but 11 shipped on an NES game again not worth a whole lot it probably was on the higher end of the prices that's why it's taken so long to sell also, I still think, and I'm not an expert on I haven't tracked it, but I think NES games are kind of falling off a little bit collectability-wise. I think a lot of the people who are collecting stuff now grew up on the 64, GameCube, things like that. So they're kind of going back and buying that stuff. There's still people buy, buying the Super Nintendo, but I think the NES, there's still buyers for it, but I think it's 
kind of just coming down a little bit in my opinion. But if anyone knows more, feel free to let me know. But that's just what I've seen in my sales. Um, then we have Dungeons and Masters and Adventure Log. Dungeons and Dragons stuff, guys. It always sells. It sells for pretty good money. This one sold for 18 shipped. It's just a little booklet. Uh, I got a bunch of these. My uncle was cleaning out some stuff, and he gave me all these. This was years ago, and um, he thought we might want to play it, which we never did. But um, when I was moving, when I went to Florida for a wedding for my sister, came back and um, brought a bunch of these books with me, and this one was one of the last ones left. I ended up selling for 18 shipped. But if you can find Dungeons and Dragons stuff, it's probably at least worth looking up, especially if it's the older stuff. Um, here's a Pioneer microphone. I had bought a um, karaoke machine by Pioneer with a bunch of, uh, it was like a laser disc karaoke machine or whatever. So I bought a bunch of, had a bunch of laser disc, a bunch of karaoke disc, plus a couple microphones and the unit. I paid, I think, 50 bucks for it or 60 bucks. The unit sold for 150 or 160. A stack of the laser karaoke sold for like 50 or 60 ship. The other laser disc sold for like 100. And then I think I sold one remote for 28. So it ended up being a good deal. That was a Facebook Marketplace. Back then, I could get Facebook Marketplace deals every day without even trying it felt like. There was just not enough competition out there. It was just kind of starting up. So I'd be one of the first ones to message and I could go pick them up. And now it's like if you're not there within the first hour and it's something good, good luck because you're probably not going to get it. Um, what I found though, just a little tip if you're going to buy on Facebook Marketplace and offer up is look for stuff that's just not so common. Like Nintendo is probably hard to buy, but find something a little oddball or in an oddball category and sometimes you can make some money that way. I've done pretty well with book sets and DVD sets that people were selling for super cheap. I went and picked them up and flipped them for, you know, five to ten times the investment just because no one else was looking for that thing. So it might be worth taking some time if you have it. A uh, PC game here, this was a dollar at a garage sale. It was brand new sealed, Alexander. Um, I scanned it while I was there. I was picking up some other stuff, and I just happened to see it, scanned it. I saw that it could sell for around 15 to 20. Got home, and there were none really listed, so I listed mine for 22, and it finally sold. That one also went first class, but it went in the bubble mailer as well. Uh, Alien vs. Predator, this is a great PS2 game, guys. This one sold for 42 shipped. It came out of the My Pet Monster buy, which you guys have probably seen some stuff sell, or you might see it in the future. Uh, but 42 shipped on a PS2 game that's used is awesome. I did not know this one was worth money. I thought it was around a $25 or $30 game when I first saw it, but I was mistaken. I got it, got home, looked, and there were prices all over. There were some at $30, but there were these people getting $40. Bucks. I went ahead and listed mine for $42 and it sold. And you guys can see I did not take the time to take the sticker off the PS2 game. I still got 42 shipped, which is pretty good price for this game. So happy with that. Uh, another a lot of video games in this one. This is a Tom Clancy Splinter Cell. This one sold for eight shipped. Not much to say, just a quick, easy game. Happy to get rid of it. Uh, an N64 memory card sold for twelve. This is actually an aftermarket one. Still got um, twelve shipped on that. I think I get about thirteen or fourteen shipped for a OEM, a official Nintendo one as well. So not much less for that one. Uh, these were some Star Wars Advent Calendar, like little figures that you would get. You would open up the little you know, little door that for each day. I did not have the complete set though. I The advent calendar was there, but it was all shredded up and there were all these loose figures in a bag. Not loose, but I mean, they're still wrapped, but they were not in the container anymore. And um, this came out of the $1,600 toy buy. I thought about trying to get the other figures and making a complete set, but then I just said, you know, what? I'm gonna list it and see what happens. It sat for a while, but someone came through finally and offered 25 and I was happy to get it. I went first class. One of those items that I thought I'd do a little better on, but I was happy to get rid of it. This was cool. I bought a Kelty Kids um, hiking backpack from one of my sources. Five bucks. Um, he had shown me that one of the straps was bad, but I saw it had this replacement little backpack on it that zips onto it. And I was like, I bet that sells. And I looked online and one had sold for 10 or no, 20 shipped. And I was like, well, that's still a bit, not bad. For even five bucks shipping first class, you can make a few bucks on it. Um, I ended up getting it home, listed mine for 30, and it sold within about a week. And then I took off a couple little clips and stuff on there to sell as replacement parts. And I just ended up throwing away the, the backpack because the strap was bad. It was probably a $100 bag if the straps and everything were good. But obviously it's a hazard. They hadn't broken yet, but they were starting to fray. It definitely looked like a liability for someone to put their kid in there. So threw that in the trash. Um, some retail arbitrage DreamWorks from Walmart. Four of these ones sold for 60 shipped. We had paid, I think, four bucks each. So we're in it. What is that, 16 bucks plus tax? We sold them for 60. I think shipping ended up being like right around 12 bucks FedEx or something like that. They weren't too heavy, just kind of a little bulky in the box. 
but um, pretty good deal for retail arbitrage. I'm not a super retail arbitrage like Walmart clearance person. I know a lot of people out there make some great money on Walmart clearance. It's just not really my thing. Uh, my wife goes there and looks for stuff, but we're usually pretty picky with what we buy. We bought these ones because they had a bunch of them that were, they were already dropped down to four bucks. And I just thought these might come around and be valuable again. And a lot of people sold theirs off really quickly and we held on to ours and a lot of them together ended up working out. So retail arbitrage is just, you really got to know your stuff or you can spend a lot of money on stuff that you're going to store forever. So just be careful. Um, making of the Thriller VHS. This is from the Rock and Roll Buy. It's uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller. Like the music video, I guess this is a video that kind of talks about the making of it. This one sold for 14 ship, which is again pretty good for a used VHS. I just ship these the same way. I put a little, maybe two pieces of bubble wrap around them, tape it up, and then shove them in a bubble mailer, and they're on their way. Haven't had any issues so far, knock on wood, with uh, anything breaking or whatever, and it seems to be a pretty efficient way to ship them out. Um, a Queen, A Night at the Opera songbook. This is um, one of those like guitar tab like style songbooks with the music and everything. This one sold for 40 ship, which was a really great deal. I remember I couldn't find this one as well in the storage unit for a little while, and we finally found it. It got put in the wrong section, but um, it did sell for 40 bucks, and I'm pretty happy with that. These ones go in a bigger bubble mailer, and it goes medium mail. It costs a couple bucks to ship it, and turns out to be a pretty good deal. Rampage 2, another video game, sold for 27 shipped. I bought a, when I got that My Pet Monster stuff, there was a 64 in there, and I saw this game, Rampage. I knew it was super good, and it sold for 27 shipped. I mean, that's not an amazing price, but I knew it was definitely a good one that would sell. Um, Rampage is a pretty fun game as well. I actually sold this months and months ago, this Rec Zone password safe. It sold instantly. I listed it. It sold for like 30 shipped the first hour or two. I listed it. Shipped it out to the guy. I already did a video about it. Um, the guy had it for a few days. Then he came back to me and said that uh, it just wasn't meeting his needs, that it was too big. He thought it was smaller and all this stuff got it back it still worked it's still in great shape resold it for 35 I up the price a little bit because it sold so fast and someone bought it and this time i haven't heard back it's been been a while enough now where i shouldn't expect the return at least so 35 shipped on this password safe a realistic disco clean deluxe little thing this was brand new in the box from 1977 sorry for the shaky camera there i just hit my little workbench but um this one i got from storage unit guy i what I told you guys before, I just make huge piles of stuff and then try to make a deal. This is something I threw in there. It was old. Didn't even look it up, but ended up listening, I think, for 35 or best offer. and took a bust offer of 28 shipped, and this one did go global shipping, I remember, and it still went first class. It was pretty light. Here's another uh, CD, this Gwen Ashton Prohibition. This one sold for 15 shipped. It was The comps were weird. There were like a lot of them for 8 bucks or 5 bucks, and every once in a while it would sell for like 15, so that's where I listed mine, and mine ended up selling again, so... I do think it helps to not have a stock photo. Just take a decent photo, and guys, I mean, mine are not the best, but it works. And I, I think I took two or three photos of this, one in the front, one in the back, and then one with the barcode, and um, ended up, you know, getting it sold pretty quickly for 15 Left for Dead 2 for the 360. This one sold for 15 ship. This game always sells for me. It usually sells right around that price, and it sells pretty quickly. Uh, for whatever reason, people still buy it. I'm always happy to find that one. I think I had two bucks in it at a garage sale. The Best of Marvin Gaye CD, this one was from a different CD buy, but it sold for 10 bucks, a little two CD set. Nothing crazy, but 10 bucks shipped, I'm happy with that. And here's a, this was actually a return, but we included it so you guys can see the bad side of eBay, because there's some people out there who think that I don't show any bad stuff and everything's a lie that I show you guys. So we have to show the bad so everyone will believe me um, that I actually do sell this stuff. So if you don't, here's something that happened that's bad. I sold this 360 power supply. Um, it shipped out in a padded flat rate. I tested it out before I shipped it. It got there and the guy said it wouldn't work with his Xbox. The brick must be broken. He returned it when I had to pay return shipping because we have free returns. Got it back and it still works. So I'm not sure if he had a different kind of Xbox. Sometimes the ports are different on him and maybe that would what, what was happening. Maybe he thought his didn't work and I don't know what it was. Maybe his Xbox was just broken and that wasn't the power cord problem, but I got it back. I actually held on to it though because I had an Xbox that needed one and I just matched it with that and it worked fine. So we're okay there. But yes, bad things do happen. Three focal vintage camera electronic flashes. Uh, these are from the big camera buy. We got a bunch of little camera stuff that sold first. We've only sold one of the big lights that came with it. Uh, this little, these little guys sold for 15 shipped. The problem was they ended up going just over 
a pound by the time I got them in there, I believe. So I think they went in a padded flat rate. We didn't make a whole lot on this deal, but made a few bucks, got them out of here. Didn't get bad feedback or anything. So happy about that. Um, a Silver Creek Bionic here. This was just something I saw at a sale. It just looked cool. It looked like, you know, some kind of like, I don't know, spy type stuff, even though it's not really super high quality, like some kind of cheap spy stuff that someone would have and they could put it up and listen to a w the wall and see what they could hear. Um, what ended up happening with, I put the batteries in and power it up, but it didn't really work that well. It like seemed to get a lot of static, like it would make a screeching noise, and then it would stop for a second and make no noise. And then, and it wasn't, it wasn't that it was just picking up random sounds, like the sound was coming in and out, like something was wrong. Um, I paid five bucks for it at a garage sale. I didn't know if it worked there. I ended up selling it for 50 shipped on a best offer. And it went like one town over from where I live. It was crazy. I was surprised someone so close bought it. But I think I got good feedback on that one as well too. So five and a 50 shipping was probably eight bucks or so. Maybe a little bit under, but pretty good deal. I got a bunch of these Porta Pocket radios. These go to like little Motorola walkies. Um, I ended up getting the walkie and I think it sold for like three, no, 30 or 40 bucks broken it didn't work and then I had all these chargers that came with it and they seemed to work like they would charge up they would light up and everything but the the walkie would not respond and I ended up selling um, this one for 28 chipped I've sold probably two or three for 28 30 shipped and then I have like one more left so I ended up making more money in all the little chargers but it was a really good deal I'm happy with that I think it goes out first class a Harry Potter just a lower end PS1 game sold for seven shipped disc only Sorcerer's Stone pretty good deal Happy to get rid of it. Uh, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, another good game that sells pretty often. This one sold for 15 chip for the 360. I got it the same time I got that Left 4 Dead game. Uh, Pokemon Strategy Guide, this one was also with the Left 4 Dead stuff. The same um, sale had all this. This one sold for 15 chip. I think I had a buck or two in it as well. Um, I knew it would sell, not for a whole lot, but it sold pretty quickly. And I think I shipped it out probably for a few bucks to get it out. So pretty good deal. Um, here is a Jurassic World robot. This one does not have the remote. Um, I bought this from Savers. I paid four bucks or so. Got it home. You plug it in and it charges. It does charge up fine. And the problem is, is that um, I didn't have the remote and it goes for a lot more with the remote. But I figured I'll sell it as a replacement. Maybe someone will buy it. This thing didn't sell forever. Forever, forever. I had another one. I was going to throw that one or donate that one because I'm like, mine's never sold. I'm just sitting this other one here. It's never, this is never going to sell. I was, I literally put it in my donate pile because I'm trying to purge some stuff. The next day, this guy sells for 35. And then I go look at the listing and I'm like, no wonder it didn't sell. It's like a crappy photo because it's all dark. I kind of turned some of the lights off so you could see his eyes light up and it just does not, it's not a flattering photo. So I list, did a sell similar, listed another one and I switched the photos around so the one that had the nice bright light was up there and he actually sold and you'll see him come up in another video in the future and i think he sold for 35 shipped as well so they do sell just don't use a bad photo so that's the tip of the day um star wars battlefront 2 for ps2 sold for 12 shipped uh, another good game battlefronts used to be even better on ps2 and xbox but they've kind of come down a little bit here is let's see a book here car not book a um ps2 game called tarzan this one sold for 10 shipped Again, had a sticker on it, no manual, still sold for 10 shipped, happy to get it out of here. I got some Pokemon movie activity books. These were from the Rock and Roll Buy as well. I'm not sure why they were in there, but they were. Um, this one ended up selling for nine bucks. Uh, it goes first class, it's super light, and I got two of them. They were unused. I just figured there was some kind of Pokemon collector out there who might want them. Uh, Disney Pink, uh, Peter Pan Tinkerbell Enchanting Encounter figure. This one sold for 140 shipped on a best offer, so pretty good deal. This is from the $1,200 figure buy, which um, ended up being uh, definitely a good buy. We made, we sold a lot of stuff. You guys have seen some of it, but we still have a lot more to sell. This one, I think, was listed at $160. Took a best offer of $140. It shipped out FedEx for about $13. And then um, the buyer did give me good feedback, said it arrived. Everything was perfect. No issue there. Here is an International Space Station book. This one sold for $8 shipped. So I was happy about that. I'm assuming with all the talk about... Um, you know the shuttles going up and stuff to the space station that's probably why this book sold but i got eight shipped on that a snuggle bear this one did not have a tag but i knew what he was um i got on a 50 cents and a big plush well they had a big pile of plush at the garage so i just started grabbing a bunch i think i spent three bucks and he was one of them and he sold for 16 shipped um you, i've sold a couple snuggle bears in the past just got to find them the older ones do a little better and obviously that is a tag that helps uh, tiki mug tiki mugs still sell um you got to be careful 
uh, not to break them because I've done that before. But um, the, big, the best thing you can do is find out what mug it is. A lot of times on the bottom, we'll say Tiki Farm or some kind of a hotel or whatever. Those old 60s or 70s ones from hotels, those ones do great. This was from 2003, but we got 35 shipped on it, so pretty happy. I think it was from a storage unit guy by as well. Um, here's a little book from the Rock and Roll by the Coles Complete Chord and Harmony book that sold for 20 shipped. And it looks like, guys, that is it. So we finished them all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know there's a lot of stuff. And again, sorry the camera shakes sometimes. I get a little, little antsy and I touch the, the workbench here and then it shakes the camera on the mount. But um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. I know we're doing something different. And um, I'm trying to keep the time down, but yet I still end up going over that 20-minute mark. But if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.